Hello, my sisters. Hello, my brothers. Welcome to HSBN, the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, where the Word of God is going forth out into many countries and nations. Our God, I'm sorry, our God is a big guy. <laughs> That's right. He has a big body. And so he's using many platforms and ministries uh, in this time and hour to preach the gospel to the lost, to the hurting, to the broken, for his glory and for his purpose. And I thank God for uh, the ministries that I am under. Hallelujah. Uh, that's walking with the power of God and has the instruction from God to do what God is calling them to do for his glory and for his purpose. I thank God for HSBN who has given me a voice along with so many other broadcasters, a voice to preach the gospel to the hurt, to the lost, to the hurting. I know if you're like me, I never would have imagined that this was in my future. Oh, my sister, my brother, you don't know what's in your future. You don't know what God has in store for you. Just know that it's good. <laughs> Some things we can't even pray about, right? Because you're not even expecting it or looking for it, but God is going to give it to you anyway. He will give it to you anyway because it's something that he needs you to have. It's something that he needs you to do. Amen. Let me stop preaching. I'm not supposed to be doing all that right now. And I got excited. Hallelujah. I thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. My name is Janice Pert Cross. <laughs> I am a friend of God's and a messenger of Jesus Christ. You are on fighting the battle God's way soldier. Hallelujah. We are soldiers in the army of God, true soldiers, soldiers that, that stands in the toughest times, soldiers that um, don't leave their comrades behind, amen, but we're looking every way to see my sister, my brother, do you need help, do you need prayer, praying, Reaching out, hey, here I am. Just want you to know, here I am if you need me. The true soldiers of God in this time and hour. Soldiers that has already won. We're just standing on faith in our Father. Because Jesus already won this battle for us. <laughs> Back in the Old Testament, they had to fight the battles. Oh, they had, they went through. We think we're going through. Just think about if you had to fight the battles. I know some of our soldiers, our men's, and some of our women's, they actually do go out and fight, you know. And we can see, too, a lot of them when they come back. They don't come back the same. Now pray, we pray for them and we cover them in Jesus' name. So we thank God that we don't have to do that kind of fight. That's not the kind of fight that we're in in Christ Jesus. If you, um, <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. And so if you already accepted Jesus into your life, you're on the winning side. <laughs> and if you haven't, and if you know somebody that haven't, maybe you might want to send them, you know, this, this taping so they can accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior like you and I have. Because the word of God tells us in Romans 10, 9, that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So if you've done that, if you're going to do that right now, then you're saved. 
Welcome, my sister. Welcome, my brother, into the body of Christ. You have a big family. And, and we love one another. We really do. It's more of us that love one another than those that don't. Amen. Let's, um, you know, I want to pray, but if you don't mind, um, I would like to do a prayer of agreement. Okay, I would like to pray this prayer over your life and over my life. And so since I'm praying it in your behalf, I'm going to use the word I. Is that okay? And so you're on your end, you just, you're letting our father know it's me, Lord. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> and so, uh, because the enemy is not playing right now and we're not going to play with the enemy. And it's time for us to tear down some strongholds. It's time for us to pray some, some, um, uh, battle prayers in Jesus name. And so, and, and that's what I'm going to do before I go into uh, the lesson. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I pray to the God that answered by fire. I give you thanks and praise for your goodness your mercy, and your grace over my life, your life. I give thanks for a mind to pray, a heart to seek your faith, and authority to bring my members into subjection. I thank you for this moment and the opportunity that each day brings. I know that each day is special. And I am empowered with unlimited potential. There are no ceilings on my life, no obstacles that cannot be overcome or barriers that can stand in my way. In fact, this is the greatest day of my life. And I am free to exercise all the gifts and talents you have blessed me with. My hopes and dreams can manifest today. And I approach this moment with great expectation for miracles, breakthroughs, and deliverance. I stand before you, Lord, naked, hiding nothing, making excuse for nothing that I have said or done that's what not of you. Offering no excuses, no justifications of my shortcomings. And my weaknesses, because you know them all. I come, Lord, seeking your standard and not of those of man. Because your ways are higher than our way. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And your ways higher than our way. I pray that you will forgive me my sins, known and unknown. Forgive every thought, deed, action, every motive that wasn't a good motive. Every intent that wasn't a good intent in my heart. That is not lined up with your word. That's not lined up with your will. That's not lined up with your calling and your purpose for my life. Father God, please forgive me for secret faults. And uproot any seed of discontent that has been planted in my life. Uproot it, God. Take it out. Take it away in the name of Jesus. And give me a spirit of contentment. A spirit of gratefulness. A spirit of thankfulness. For your glory, God. Father God, forgive me if I held back any ties. And give me a heart to restore every person that I have wronged. Father God, and keep me from wronging 
people as I continue on in this walk with you. Holy Spirit, bring conviction. Don't let me be able to walk away like I used to after I said something wrong or done something wrong to your children. But let me go back and correct that thing. Make it right for your glory and for your purpose. Father God, just as you have forgiven me, I forgive those that have wronged me and I let go of any art bitterness, any resentment, any ill feelings that I have held in my heart, God. Oh, God, take it out. I don't want it. I give you permission, Holy Spirit, to burn it up, burn it up, burn it up, burn it up right now. Father God, because those things will keep me out of your presence. And those things will keep me out of your will. And I want to be in your will, God. I want to be able to come into your presence. Hallelujah. With clean hands. And a pure heart. In the name of Jesus. I will not allow sin and bitterness to cut off the flow of blessings in my life. I repent right now in the name of Jesus and I receive the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse me from all iniquities. Take it away, Jesus. Sin, known and unknown sin, omission and commission sin, sin that I'm aware of and, 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 and sin that I'm not aware of. Take it away, Jesus. Burn it up, God. I repent right now. I come before you, Lord, with a heart that is after your own heart and a mind that has stayed on you. You said a humble heart and a contrite spirit you will not despise. Oh, God, keep me humble. Keep me humble, God. For your glory and for your purpose, Father. Not haughty. Not self-righteous. Father God, burn it up. Burn it up. Take it all away. Humble and meek. Grateful. Thankful. For all that you've done and for all that you're doing and for all that you're going to do and for who you are. That you're my father, that you chose me. For your glory, for your purpose. I thank you, Lord, for saving me from myself and the consequences of my sins. I surrender and I give everything to you, Father. Everything I have belongs to you. Everything is yours. You lent it to me. My children are yours. My car, my house, my money, everything is yours. Father God, thank you. Thank you, Father, for choosing me. Thank you for calling me by name. Thank you for allowing me to be your daughter. Thank you for allowing me to be your son. Because you could have chose somebody else. But you saw fit to call my name. And I thank you, Father God. And I seal this prayer with the precious blood of Jesus. And I stand by faith knowing that not only have you heard this prayer, but you have answered it already. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, 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 God. In the name of Jesus. God, have heard your prayers. 
Hallelujah. He said, a humble heart and a contrite spirit. He know that you want to be in his perfect will. He know that you're trying and you're giving him your all. He know how hard it is. But he is our strength. Hallelujah. Our scripture for today, hallelujah, is our title for today. I'm sorry. The word for today is, we are not how we feel. Tell yourself, I am not how I feel. Because feelings, right, they're emotions. <laughs> and one minute we can be feeling one way. Next minute we can be happy. One minute we're sad. Next minute we're depressed. One minute, you know, so we, we're not a people of feelings. <laughs> the just should live by faith. Hallelujah. But our scripture is 2 Corinthians 4, 8. And the word of God says this about us. For we are not how we feel. And the word of God let us know this too. Because the word of God says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 8, we are troubled. God said we are troubled. And if we admit it, we are. We are troubled. Right? Every... Where we turn with trouble afflicted on every side, the word of God said. Right? I turn this side, there's trouble. This side, there's trouble. Here, trouble on every side. It's all around us. He said, we are trouble, but <laughs> there's a but there. There's a yet there, but we're not distressed. <laughs> and in that trouble, the trouble is gone, it wants to leave the stress behind. We're not distressed. You're not distressed. You're not cr crushed. Sometimes we feel like we're crushed after trouble has left. The Word of God said we are preplexed. But we're not in despair. We're not driven in despair in the name of Jesus. We are not those things. Persecuted. Talked about, lied on. All those things. But we're not forsaken. God hasn't forsaken us. Once the persecution is over with, you still feel like you're forsaken, like you're by yourself. You still feel a certain way. It's a lie. That's not who we are. We're not forsaken. The Word of God tells us right here, we haven't been left. We haven't been forgotten. We haven't been abandoned by our Father. It's a lie. The Word of God says, cast down, but not destroy. You can't be destroyed. The Holy Ghost power, the same Holy Ghost that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That can't be destroyed. Cast down, but not destroy. Oh, we have gone through something the last two years. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Between losing loved ones and houses and cars and husbands and sisters and brothers. Oh, we felt all these things. 
And some of us are still feeling it, but that's not who you are. You're not depressed. You feel it, but that's not who God called you to be. That's not who you are. The word of God says, always bearing about in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus. Oh, we're going to have to go through something like Jesus went through something. He felt our affliction. He went through it first. If our body, if we, this flesh must die. And in order for it to die, it must be crushed. It must, the, the flesh must, must die. The flesh, and that's what we're feeling. We're feeling this flesh. But our spirit man, while this flesh is dying, while it's being persecuted, our spirit man is rising up. It's getting strength. It's knowing who our father is like never before. While this flesh is dying, it must die. In order so we can live in Christ. So Christ can live in us. We're not how we feel. The word of God tells us we are troubled on every side. Afflicted. We're agitated. Bothered. Somebody know what I'm talking about. You're so agitated. You're so bothered. But we are not how we feel. The stress. We are not meant to suffer from anxiety, sorrow, or pain. In the name of Jesus, we are not that. And in Jesus' name, I bind it right now. I send the power of Jesus to your home, to your jobs, wherever you may be. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare divine healing over your body right now, over your mind. Anxiety, loose the woman of God, loose the man of God. Pain and suffering, loose, loose, turn them loose. In the name of Jesus, you're commanded, you must loose the woman of God. You must turn them loose. In the name of Jesus. Fear, agitation, loose them. Loose the woman of God. Turn them loose in the name of Jesus. Father God, and I release joy and peace. I release the love of God, the patience of God over your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody feel like they're, they're, they're losing their mind. I command the mind to line up with the word of God. I put the word on the mind. You have the mind of Christ. You think sound thoughts, just honest thoughts, pure thoughts, thoughts of a good report. In the name of Jesus. Put your spiritual music on. Play your music over and over. Put it on your ears. In the name of Jesus. You're in a fight of faith. You must fight the fight of faith, knowing that your father is with you and he has you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. If you don't mind, I'm going to read you a poem. It's called Strength. Sometimes we think we don't have strength. But it's God's strength. If you're a believer, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God dwells in you. The same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. He lives in us. That's, he's our strength. Strength for such a time as this. We need God's strength like never before. But in order for us to have it, we must stay in his presence. We must stay on our faith. We must continue to listen to the music that has the anointing that's going to lift 
and strengthen our spirit, man. We cannot do this on our own. No man can. Strength, God's strength, help us to endure this kind of pain. Just know it won't remain. A test, a trial, they only last a while. But the strength of the Lord is forever to them who trust in him. His strength will pick you up when you're down and carry you while your broken heart is being mend from his spirit within. His strength is there for you when you're weak and down and no one around you can understand just how you feel. It's his comforter that comforts you when you least expect, right when you think you've had enough and you can't go on, Jesus will pick you up and carry you through. Sometimes you don't even realize that it wasn't you. Jesus never leaves us in our time of need. He's always there. He hear our plead. What must we do? What we must do is hold on to faith, knowing that Jesus never shows up late. My sister, my brother, our father, Jesus, he has you in the palm of his hand. He has me in the palm of his hand. He, has, he is our strength. And we must stay strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because that's where our strength comes from. Within. I encourage you, my sister, my brother, and I tell you, you're not who you feel. You're who God say you are, a child of the most high God. You are loved by your father. Amen.